Okay, everybody. I just wanted to talk about something while I was doing something relatively brainless, and that's the Celestial Arena, which I do four times a day. But I wanted to talk really quickly about the Democron Factory dungeon. And um, I uploaded one video where um, I, I didn't I didn't get team speak and everything else recorded in it. But I mean, you know, we're all running Demo Factory. And uh, there's something that I noticed is um, on Essential Mana, which seems to be the go to website for everybody who plays this, um, has their guide. And I believe it recommends that uh, people will um, DPS the tank and the tank will kind of deal with the sorcerer on the side on the first boss. And um, I found that with my friends, the best thing to do is to DPS the sorcerer because if you use an ability like Smite, or cable step, you're able to freeze the sorcerer and get some free damage, use your, um, was it forcefulness or whatever on the back, and load up your power and all that stuff pretty easily. And it goes real quick if everybody is on board with the idea. But um, because essential mana, like I said, they recommend that people do the exact opposite, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't know why you would put DPS on a tank, even an enemy tank. You wouldn't even put DPS in PvP on a player tank because they're just there to distract you. And I think everybody is falling into that exact trap. And it... it it's just annoying when people don't know how to do it properly or they won't budge from doing what they've read or been told to do with it. Um, really, you, anyone who watches this, next time you do Demo Factory, do what I just said. DPS the Sorcerer. Stun the Sorcerer with all your stun moves that you could do. And uh, keep the Lancer, I mean, yeah, and keep the Lancer away from the sorcerer as much as you can, you know, have the tank kite it around and stuff. You could do it on a brawler. I've done it on a brawler very easily. My other 65 character. Um, I'm guessing you could do it on, well, I mean, if I had a good priest, I could do it on this reaper, but I do so much DPS that it's not worth it to have me, you know, wasting my time tanking as a reaper. Um, you could do it you know, you could have a Lancer on the Lancer. You could do that too if you wanted. You probably even have a Zerker hold the, the Lancer if you had a good healer. Um, because in my experience, Zerkers don't really do that much offense. Um, yeah, really just something to think about is keep your mind open when doing a lot of these dungeons and don't get caught in mental traps where this is the way you've always done it. Because, well... I go in there and I see, this is going slow, this is going bad, people are dying, and the tank isn't tanking what it's supposed to be tanking, even if we were doing the opposite of what I like to do in that. Um, it's, it's annoying. It's, it's really frustrating. Um, but yeah, ju just something to think about. Um, I might record another run doing a Demo Factory, um, and I'll put that up. But... Yeah, I'll see you guys later.